In 1926, Lionel introduced a series of large freight cars, the 800 series, which was produced until 1942. These cars were produced in many variants, like the H12 gondola, first produced in Riave. You here see the third variant in dark green, with nickel boxes, made from 1927 to 1931, and the fourth with copper boxes, made only in 1931. The color of the 812 changed to steam charade green in 1931 and to light green in 1935, first delivered with latch couplers and in 1936 with box couplers, as shown here. The 815 tank car and the 870 caboose were even produced in nine variants, and you see a late caboose which was delivered in red but never shown in the catalogue. Coal car was introduced in 1927, the refrigerator car in 1929, and the searchlight or floodlight car in 1931. The refrigerator car was never offered as part of a set, but could only be purchased separately. In this video, these cars are pulled by an N4 model, which was sold as a kit under the slogan Build a Loco. Here you see the search deck car with the first color variant of the caboose in Peacock. of the 800 series were sold in sets with the large models of electric locos, like the 254, which was introduced in 1924. The set with a popular cattle and boxcar and a caboose sold for $17 and 
as advertised in the 1928 catalogue, while the cheaper sets, with the smaller locos, were offered for only 675. Here you see the earliest variant of the boxcar with nickel boxes made until 1931 and the second variant of the cattle car with copper boxes. In 1930, Lionel introduced models of steam locos, like this 260E, which is shown here as part of this set. In the same year, they also introduced the derrick, or crane car, which could rotate the cab, lift the beam and the hook. Three knobs on the rear of the cabin controlled these movements. It was the first of a series of crane cars, which were continued in the post-war period. The 311 flat car was delivered with a load of boards, which is missing here. 